straight to the latest in reopening Knox County Schools tonight. The School Systems Community Task Force making its presentation to the Board of Education tonight, providing feedback to Knox County School leaders as they now navigate a reopening plan amid the COVID-19 pandemic. WAT6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel at that meeting tonight. She joins us now live here in the studio with a recap of what was discussed. Elizabeth. Well, though, we still don't know exactly what school will look like for Knox County students, parents, teachers in the fall. But what we do know now is the observations and insights made by the reopening schools community task force. The chairman of that group giving a report to the school board tonight. Equity, communication, risk, uh, risk balance. Those are the main topics. Community Task Force Chairman Dr. Jerry Askew says he tried to bring forward in his report. Topics that also stood out to Knox County School Superintendent Bob Thomas. Student and staff safety, if we're back in school, that we take all the uh, reasonable precautions that we can take to, to provide a safe uh, teaching and learning uh, environment. Wednesday night's presentation marking the culmination of two meetings worth of discussions by the task force. Members charged with asking questions and going through data to better help school leaders as they formulate a reopening plan. If future circumstances dictate that online learning is the only option for a period of time or if a hybrid model of reopening is adopted, access to broadband service must be in place for all students. And very important uh, uh, that we that we reach all children, which we weren't able to do in the spring. Another point made loud and clear by the task force, the importance of communication. Communicate, 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 and then when you're finished communicating, keep communicating. The sentiment echoed by the president of the Knox County Education Association during public forum. Educators are worried senseless without the communication. Communication, 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 and uh, uh, we're gonna step up our game uh, when it comes to communication and have a plan ready for uh, next Wednesday for July 15th. My hope is that they will look at data, they will look at science, they will make the best decision they can to balance the risks in every way they can. In the meantime, the superintendent with this message for parents. I'd like to ask for grace. Uh, it may not look perfect on day one, but, but be assured that we're going to work as hard as we can to make it perfect. And Knox County Schools is hoping to return to school in person in the fall, but the system is providing a virtual option for parents and students who don't feel comfortable doing that. Today we learned about 20% of the student population responded to a recent survey expressing their interest in that virtual option. Bo. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. Now, the superintendent will be presenting the reopening plan to the Board of Education next Wednesday, July 15th. He says at that time, the district will provide more details about the virtual option and health safety protocols.